the present, the future, but from the past. And uh, obviously, uh, I must start from there. And I would like to, to ask the first of the, the questions that I have prepared is about you and the movie that was at the movies, as the, the, the theaters there in Sweden, because yeah. you have started with a movie that was called Born to Drive. Does it summarize you? You had no other chance but to race, to be in the, the in the driving. There was no football, for example, like Cristiano Ronaldo in Portugal. <laughs> you should only do it. I think it was quite simple. It was born to drive. Uh, you know, obviously, when I was a kid, I tried a lot of many different sports. I tried ice hockey, uh, football, of course, uh, tennis, and uh, and uh, theater. I, I tried a lot of things, and uh, I, and I also did go go kart when I was very young, but I didn't mm -hmm. like any of it. Uh, I didn't like go kart either because I it was not sliding. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I did. Uh, I remember I did a lot of quad bikes on the farm uh, when I was a kid, and I found that more fun than than go karting. So I, I, I think it was quite natural and quite early that you you live in a world that is only motorsport, and automatically your head is born into it. And I think yes, for sure, born to drive is a very good summary. I saw it. Yes. <laughs> okay, but uh, in your family, uh, I believe they didn't give you any other chance because you were parents, grandparents, all oh, they were all rally drivers, for example, and the old stock road drivers, but there yeah. was no chance. If you try something else, they always kept on saying, no way, no way, stop it, Oliver, stop it. No, they, they always supported me in what I wanted to do. And uh, when I played, played ice hockey for many years, it I actually liked it a lot. Uh, And I did it in the winter time, and uh, they always was supportive of this, and uh, they never pushed me to do to do anything. <laughs> so it was actually very open, very free. Uh, but it was your own passion, your own motivation to to follow your what you wanted to do and what you like, what you like, you know. And I think it was very simple. I loved it, so they were like, "Okay, no problem, let's go." So I think that was was the key. You have to have your own uh, passion. Obviously, but there in Sweden, was there the, the chance for doing motorsport? Is there something in the, as to say, in the people's mind, always the, the motorsport with different uh, winter sports in motorsport? But when, I was, when I was young, I, I actually lived in Monaco uh, mm -hmm. with my father and my mother. And uh, there was not a lot of chance to do, to do motorsport. Uh, so... That's I'm very lucky that we moved to Sweden because uh, I I got to do much more of what I liked and much more what I wanted to do and but I started I started uh, uh, quite late to drive anything okay late is late is an overstatement but <laughs> but uh, uh, I was maybe eight years old when I I, I drove my first uh, competition or my first race so. Uh, And that was not until I moved to Sweden, and it was actually my grandfather who took me to the first race. Who, who, who was I? Because I watched my uncle do it. Yes. Uh, with my grandfather, and I was like, "Oh wow, I want to do this." And then my <laughs> grandfather, said, no problem, we can fix the smallest class, and uh, we start. You know, so it was actually my grandfather who who helped me start. And who is to blame? Is the one to blame? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Oliver, last question about the past uh, year. In this case, it was about the cars that you have already driven from 2019 until now. You were driven, for example, uh, Volkswagen, Skoda, like nowadays, you had Hyundai. Um, which is the one that kept your best memories? I believe the rally one was the, the best. Uh, of course, I have to say Skoda, but <laughs> but I will be I will be honest, uh, of course. And uh, I've been very lucky to drive a lot of good cars, and uh, and uh, so I, I've also, of course, I've tried some old classic cars, uh, the Citroen Xara on tarmac, and I've tried also the Citroen C4 on gravel, and uh, and so on. So I've also rallycross car, you know, a lot of a lot of different cars. So I think the most, I think okay, you can you can change the most exciting car. Okay. Is probably the the rallycross car, 
in in speed and acceleration but the best car <laughs> i have to say maybe citroen c4 you know something like this because it's so easy to drive and it's just amazing you understand why they win a lot you know <laughs> because yeah. it's so easy and nice to drive and uh, but okay of the of the present cars uh, you've not been very lucky to do wrc cars that was of course a fantastic opportunity uh, but yeah, no, I've I've been very lucky to drive a lot of cars. Yes. <laughs> yes, and in the future, I hope more cars. For example, if it is the opportunity. So let's talk about this season. You are leading the championship for the moment. You have not raced there in Croatia. The last one it was in Kenya with a lot of hot, as to say, at different stages and other things. What can you tell us about this season? Uh, you are enjoying it on the first position. I believe it's the best one. Of course, uh, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's a you know this year is a fantastic opportunity with with uh, Skoda uh, Motorsport and uh, and it's a, I think it's a great program to have this year and very you you feel very good and confident about it and I, I think uh, this is uh, is the key and and obviously I would like to win in Africa also but uh, uh, but okay that's how it is I think to, it's important to to collect points and. Uh, yeah, I think this year so far has, of course, been very good. I'm leading the championship, so I have to be happy. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, no, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. It's very close uh, in points all the time, and everyone is choosing different races. So it's definitely not gonna be easy. But so far, so good. <laughs> okay, now it's the time for the Sejuanos that we are talking about to talk a little bit about Portugal. Uh, you are coming soon, and to start making the tests. How do you anticipate this 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 stage here in uh, Rally Portugal? You enjoy it, as I've seen. I've already seen your statements saying that you like very much Portugal, the Portuguese fans. Is it? I I have to say it's probably one of the best rallies of the year. You know, there are there are some key rallies which are the most uh, difficult and the most fun. And I think in Portugal is the combination. And uh, you know so many fans and people, and and I think that is probably the best atmosphere of the year. Uh, and everyone has so much passion, you know, for rally, which is uh, just an amazing feeling when you arrive and you meet so many people. And and also I think it's going to be the most challenging rally because it's so many drivers, uh, so many cars, and uh, and also it's it's not an easy rally. So, but I I enjoy it a lot. Of course, I like the rally a lot. You know, last year. Uh, without the donuts, it should be a quite easy win, you know. So <laughs> the plan is to try to win this year also, but uh, and no donuts. <laughs> and uh, because uh, that's something in your mind. It was the the, the worst uh, memories that you got this penalty penalty about making donuts. It was something that was not placed for you, right? The, it's a good memory and a bad memory. I think it's it's. It was a great rally and have a good memories and also the donuts was was fun you know of course in 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 the stadium it was with so many people uh, but after of course it was very bitter you know uh, but that's life at least I bring the good memories and I I, I bring the good confidence and then uh, and then we will see and the strategy will be for full attack all the time or starting very cautious and then going a little bit because of the, the classmen and uh, to know where the place where you are if you need to attack or to to keep it cool down well we, you know last year i, I played it quite smart and, and uh, tried to be quite consistent over the whole rally and I, it worked very well so we will see the conditions this year if it, it looks to be very warm uh, okay. so it will be very dry and then the quite a lot of rocks maybe you know so it depends after the recce maybe i go full attack or i i take it easy we will see <laughs> <laughs> okay i think the, it will be sunny not very hot but very sunny with a lot of dust but we'll see i will see yeah. if you can do it okay that's, that will be difficult also in the rally for sure yeah it, i'm sure every car is quite close so in the trees there can be quite a lot of dust Mm -hmm. Okay. And nowadays, what can you tell us about this double RC? You want it to be there in the fighting because we see a lot of different winners in the in each uh, stage. It will be very funny to be in the, the class, the Rally 1 class. Of course, the dream is to be in Rally 1. That is always uh, always the dream. But uh, 
I think I, I focus on my job this year now and I focus to try to win the championship and then hopefully hopefully be back uh, in in uh, in rally one which is the dream and uh, I think uh, the more drivers the more cars in WRC one the better it is so I think that could be hopefully a, a good opportunity for the future and uh, and then uh, we will see but you know WRC today is is very much about experience you know and it's mm-hmm. you can see it's only the this the same people winning all the time uh you know so it's not easy to come in as a young guy i think to to go and win but uh obviously the plan is to to be back and then we see see how it is and what is your opinion about this changing in the regulations uh about the points but also the the change from hybrid uh power uh what can you tell us about the future in WRC with your position there in the rally one uh, position if you go there it will be challenge, or you want it to keep it uh, in other ways. No, I I think the 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 challenge of the car is is you know if you get enough testing, you know you can get into the cars. It's no problem. I think that it's not my uh, job to to decide what what the cars should be. I think there is enough people to 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 come up with a good solution. So I'm just happy if I can drive and uh, and. Uh, I think the problem for youngsters today is that we don't get testing, you know, and you can see that also with with uh, with some other drivers coming in uh, this year. That even if they have experience or not, they are still not so fast. So I think uh, I think the the most important thing is for youngsters or for beginners is to have testing because uh, these other guys with a lot of experience. They will be fast, uh, of course. So you have to have enough testing, enough driving to be allowed to to come closer to the top guys. And uh, and this is, uh, I think, where it's difficult for young drivers now on the later years. Uh, and if you look at Carlo Rovampera, it was it was the perfect strategy of how they did with him. You know, to do a lot of driving, a lot of testing, and uh, always. Driving, I think that was the most important for him, and it went so quickly, you know. Uh, these days, it's very different. So I think that is where I look into the future to hopefully have a change that when you get back in, you can get a lot of driving, a lot of testing to catch a little bit of the experience of the of the top guys, you know. Okay, okay. My last question will be obviously about your co-driver. Uh, we can talk about him uh, in this moment. Uh, what do you or what can you say about him? Because it's uh, the major part, as to say, in the car you are making the driving, but you have got to be confident with this, someone that is on uh, your side. Uh, what can you tell us about your cool driver? No, oh, but you know, Elliot, first of all, is a fantastic guy. You know, very <laughs> calm, very nice and humble, and and uh, you know, I trust him hundred and ten percent in the car. You know, so it's uh, so far it's been always perfect. So. You know, I'm uh, I'm happy. So he's he's doing a great job, and and we we respect each other. You know that I do my job, he do his job, and and uh, it's been been a fantastic few years with him now. That uh, so, in my opinion, I will never change him. So I'm I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so be the welcome here to Portugal. It will be, I'm sure, a good pleasure to receive you, but also for yourself in driving here in Portugal. We will see yeah. if we can get donuts, but only at stores, not exactly on the stage. Like, only at stores. <laughs> <laughs> to prove it, to prove it, not doing it and not doing the donuts, but proving it, I'm sure it will be better. For me, it, I wish you the best of luck, obviously, for Portugal. And in my entire, obviously, be the welcome. It is a great pleasure. Or as we say here in Portugal, bem-vindo a Portugal. Bem-vindo a Portugal, okay. Thank you. That's it. That's it. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you, Oscar. Bye bye. I hope to see you in Portugal. Yeah. Thank you. Obviously, we will see and watch your driving skills. Obviously. Thank Fantastic. you very much. Fantastic. Thank you.